Hey guys, this is Kerry, and in this video we're going to be making an application of our new knowledge of uh, objects, uh, and we're going to be using them as dictionaries to create this state capital review game. So the way it's going to work, um, this is going to be the finished project, pick a new state, you click it, it gives you Connecticut, and then you have to guess in your head, what's the capital of Connecticut? Um, I actually have no idea, so I'm going to click show capital, and it's Hartford. Now when we pick a new state, Wisconsin, and then we're quizzing ourselves in our head, do we know the capital of Wisconsin? Um, and whatever we think it is, then we can show the answer to check it. And this worked well with state capitals, but you could imagine that whatever you study in college, you could make a similar review game for that, and it would help you to remember, uh, I think this is Columbus? Yeah, sweet. It would help you to remember uh, the things that you were trying to remember. So getting started, we actually have an easier problem to begin with. So for problem one in the lesson, we're given some starter code, this one right here. It says create a for this program, you're sent some starter code called problem1.html. Code along with the video to build some basic functionality with the state capitals dictionary. Create a program that can display the capital of any state when given the name of the state. So I'm seeing the keyword here, display. Display is not a function that comes with JavaScript. So we're going to go into our uh, toolbox and grab uh, our JavaScript extension pack, expansion pack for the AP tools. Now we place that above the script tags that we were given. Now in these script tags, we're given a capitals dictionary. And uh, this dictionary matches state names with capitals. So um, let's just open this in our browser right away. OK. So uh, the first thing that we're going to try to do is when we type in New York, it should display Albany. So it looks like what we're trying to do is something like display. Um, and then what we want to display is go into the capitals dictionary and find the item that's matched with the key, New York. Um, and so it goes into the capitals dictionary, it finds New York, and it should display the value that's matched with that, which is Albany. So let's give that a save and a refresh. Yeah, we get Albany. Let's try it for Oregon. Uh, Salem. Cool. So this is, uh, this is working pretty good. For part B, I'm going to comment this out using command slash. For part B, um, we need to add to your program by continuing along the video so that displays all the states. Well, all the states are the keys of this dictionary, so we want to display... Um, and then from our lesson today, we saw to get the keys, we do object.keys, and then in parentheses, the name of the dictionary. So object.keys, um, and then the name of the dictionary is capitals dictionary. And mine auto completes that. So let's give that a save and a refresh. So that displays all the state names. Now to get all the capitals, all the capitals are going to be the values. So we'll do something really similar to what we did here, but instead of displaying the object keys, we'll display the object values. Um, and we do have all the capitals now. So now the interesting part about this is to move on to checkpoint four, where we take this really similar problem and we turn it into a much more interesting app, which is this to-do list app. Not to-do list app. Oh my god, the name of it is to-do list. I forgot to change the name. Uh, I'll fix that right now. <laughs> I just copied and pasted some code. This is actually a state capital quiz. Um, so let me just do that in both places and change the name of it. Okay, so now we've got our state capital quiz, and this is going to be a more interesting one. So I've already completed the project, but I've also given you guys the starter code, which has the project not complete. So in order for us to complete the project, let's take a look at what we've got so far. We've got some uh, HTML. We've uh, included the uh, AP Tools expansion pack. And then we've got some script tags set up down here with the same dictionary in them. So if we think about building this game, uh, it's going to have some interesting functionality. It's been a while since we've done something like this. But uh, with graphics, we have to make sure that we're selecting the elements that we want to be able to edit. So let's start by selecting the important elements. Select important elements. And I can see right away that we're going to be interacting with these two buttons. So let's start by selecting those. Let document.query selector 
Uh, and then going up to the buttons, the first buttons ID is new state. And we have to give this a name, so I think in general it's good to call it new state equals document dot query selector. And I made a mistake here. We're selecting the thing with ID new state, so we have to include the hashtag. Let's copy and paste that line of code. Next, the other button is called show capital, so we're going to select the item with name show capital and give it the variable show capital. We also need to select the two locations where we're going to be putting the state name and the capital name. So if you see like Pennsylvania shows up here, and when we show the capital Harrisburg, it shows up here. In our code, those are these two empty spans called state name and capital name. So let's start by selecting state name. And this is going to be the place where we put the state name. And then we'll do the exact same thing for the other one, which was called capital name. OK, so now I think we've got all of the important elements selected, the buttons and the things that inner HTML were changing. So in order to complete this project now, um, we need to do a couple of more things. Uh, we need to select a state at random. So if we're going to be selecting a state at random, there's two ideas that I think are important. First, we need to create a list of the names of the states. So let's let states equal, and we could type all of these state names out. But in problem one, we found a quick way to find all the state names. These are just the keys from the dictionary. So we'll let the states be object.keys and they're the keys from the dictionary whose name is Capitals Dictionary. So to test the code out, I'm just going to do a console.log states and see if all of the state names appear down below. So I'm going to control click, open in browser. I'm going to open the JavaScript console by doing command option J. And we've got an array with 50 items, and those are the state names. Great. So we want to pick a state at random. So that sounds like we're going to be using something with random randomness. And a couple lessons ago, we created um, something that drew random radii circles. Um, so I'm going to grab from that file the tool that we created called generate random. And this generates a random number, but it's going to be useful for us uh, in this problem. So command shift V, and now we've got our function to generate a random number. You could have found that in a variety of places. It's not quite in our toolbox, but um, maybe you found it in one of your uh, programs that you've already written. So to generate a random state, let's see. Well, when we click this button, that's when we want to generate the random state. That sounds like an event listener. So we go to our toolbox. We grab the code for an event listener. And the element that's going to be listening for an event is going to be the new state button, which is named new state. It's going to be listening for a click event. When we click it, what we want to do is we want to start by coming up with a random number. So let's let random number equal. And as we look through this array, it looks like 0 is Alabama, 1 is Alaska, 49 is Wyoming. We want to generate a random number from 0 to 49 because those are going to be the values that give us the state names. Now to link these up with uh, the state names, let's let the state that we choose equal, oh sorry, it's generate, not just generate, but generate random from 0 to 49. The state that we're going to pick is going to be go into the states list, which is this list right down here, and instead of picking out a specific uh, entry like states2 would be Arizona, pick states random number, and that's going to pick a random state because it's choosing a number from 0 to 49. Okay, then the next thing that we're going to do is we need to put the state name inside of the slot where we had it for the state name. That slot was called state name. So to add something to our document, we're going to go into the new state element and change its inner HTML to be whatever state we just found. So I think this is a good time for us to save it, refresh it, and let's pick a new state. So Hawaii. So it should be coming up with a random new state every time you pick a new state button. 
If this isn't working, debug your code now. Now the next part is when we click show capital, we want to actually show the capital. So that's going to be the show capital button. So I'm going to copy and paste this event listener because it'll be very similar. So show capital. When we click on that button, we need to do a couple of things. We need to figure out what state were we even looking at before. So what we do is let's let the state that we're looking at be go into the state name element and instead of changing this inner HTML, read what's inside of there because that will be the state name. And to do that, um, let me just delete this down here. To do that, we go into the state name element and we read its inner HTML. And so that will be the state. Now, we really want to get the capital so that we can display the capital there. So to get the matching capital, what we do is we say, let capital equal, go into the capitals dictionary, and whichever state was currently in the inner HTML here, look up that state's capital by going into the capitals dictionary and finding that state. Now the last thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we insert that capital into the inner HTML of this element right here. And that was called capital name. So we'll do capital name dot inner HTML is equal to the capital. So we give it a save and we give it a refresh. So we pick a new state, Utah, show capital, Salt Lake City. Pick a new state, Pennsylvania, show capital, Harrisburg. Pick a new state, Kentucky. And it's a little bit weird because when we pick a new state, it's still showing the old capital. So it looks like the last part of picking a new state is we should say, go into the capital name, which is this pink element right here, and whatever was inside of that, set that equal to an empty string so that it appears blank. Now I think we've got a fully functional state capital review game app. Oklahoma, Oklahoma City. North Dakota, notice that it clears this time, Bismarck. Virginia, I'm, I don't really know my state capitals, I'm realizing. But uh, if we practiced with the game, I think we'd be able to memorize these pretty quickly. I hope you guys found this video helpful and showed you how you might use dictionaries to look things up in the context of a problem that you may end up wanting to solve.